He is one of the most generous people I know. new friends. We met an adorable 10-year-old girl named Megan. Now, Megan was born with brittle bone disease. Now, Megan's mother, Debbie, felt her daughter, Megan, was all alone in the world. And she wrote us a letter asking us to introduce Megan to somebody she could relate to. And he's a very famous person. And he wanted to give you a present, too. So, watch this in the monitor. I don't know if you know who he is. Hi, Megan. My name's Donald. And you probably don't know me, but I was watching Maury's show the other day, and I must tell you, you really hit me right here. Uh, I think you are so beautiful, and both inside and out, I had a little something, a little gift that I gave to Maury, who's a friend of mine, and a very good golfer. Don't ever play him in golf. Very, very good, believe me. And I gave him a little gift for you, and I hope you and your mother have a good time with it. And you're very special, and you just keep it up and keep up that attitude. So good luck, and you stay in touch. So, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, he has his name on more buildings in New York City than any other person. And besides that, he is one of the most generous people in the He is one of the most generous people in the And he you and your mom to have a very special check. <laughs> now we're learning what it's like to work for Trump straight from a woman who was a close business executive for 18 years. What was it like working for Donald Trump? He was the first one there. He was there for like two hours. He'd answer the phone. He would answer the phone? Absolutely. Donald Trump. organization, yes. Barbara Ruff is a former VP for Trump who oversaw construction of his crown jewel on Manhattan's swanky Fifth Avenue, Trump Tower. He told me he thought I was a killer. And that's what he liked in, in people. Do you feel that Donald Trump is sexist? If Donald is sexist, then a lot, then a lot of people are sexist. The first part of my child care plan allows for every parent or family in America, including adoptive parents and foster parent guardians, to deduct their child care expenses from their income taxes. That's a first. And for that reason, we rate Donald Trump's claim that he has given $102 million to charity as mostly true. While it isn't his own personal cash, it is his goods and services that have allowed these charities to profit. Live in the studio tonight, Dave Elias, NBC2. Uh, I now want to bring forth a friend who, uh, when we open this, Wall Street project and we talked about it we gave us space at 40 Wall Street which was to make a statement about our having a presence there uh, and uh, beyond that in terms of reaching out and being inclusive he's done that too uh, and credit for many people are comfort zone when I ran for the presidency uh, in 84 and 88 and many others uh, thought it was either laughable or something to avoid. He came to our business meeting here in New York. He's a serious person who is an effective builder of building for the builder of people. Last year, he was a part of our workshop, of our panel workshop on what are the challenges and opportunities. And so this, a year later, Donald Trump, uh, for a few minutes, challenges and opportunities to embrace the underserved communities. Donald Trump.
I will tell you a large percentage of the people, and especially in construction, that are building these great jobs are black and minorities, and I'm very proud of it. We have uh, close to 25 percent, and I think the number's going up, and they do a great job. There are no better builders than we have in New York, and a big percentage of that is black and minority folks. So I just want to thank everybody in the room for being here. I look forward to some questions, and then I don't know how we're ever going to leave this building today, because if you look outside, it is terrible, but we'll figure a way. There's always a way, and thank you, and thank you, Jesse, and congratulations. Yeah, I got to work for him for a couple years as his executive assistant, and I got to have a first-hand experience of what he's really all about. He is a remarkable man. He is amazing to work with. He Was he ever, uh, like, you're Mexican-American, right? Yes, I'm Mexican-American, and he's never, ever made a racist me yeah, remark I was gonna towards ask me. You, yeah. He never... Ch he was never even racist to any of the uh, other ethnicities he'd ever done business with. He's very cooperative, he's very charming, he's very calm, and he's very family oriented. He's he's very caring for the community. He he goes and donates money without the press being present and he does it all out of his heart. He doesn't wear it on his sleeve. Oh yeah, as a Mexican American I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. If he runs this country the way he runs, it, anywhere near as similar as he runs his business, I know he's going to make this country a better place. Wow, okay. I mean, you don't really hear about all this. Um, yeah, like, it's like... unfortunate. <laughs> you, all you, all, it, it seems like people just want to make him the butt of a joke. He's, he, he's actually nothing like that. He's... I, I feel like people need to stop making silly remarks without even knowing who he truly, who he truly is. Hello, Donald. Good job last night. Hello, we love your hotel. Are you a Trump fan? You vote for Trump in 10 years, right? Wonderful, thank you. We love your hotel, especially. Come here all the time. She's from the Philippines, he's from California. She's rich, do you have a lot of money? Thank you, safe travels. I've been called out by everybody for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Miss Universe and Miss USA, I own it. They're here. They're gonna really do a number on me. Well, let's go, ladies. <laughs>